Hey folks, this is Imran from AllAboutAndroids.com and as many people has requested, I am making a video on how to flash Jellybean on the ASUS Transformer 300. I'm currently on Jellybean but I'm running CyanogenMod Mod 10. What people are struggling on is getting the stock Jellybean or even Sean Z Scream's customized stock Jellybean ROM. So I'll be showing you the steps to do it. Um, it is slightly lengthy but uh, if you follow all the instructions, uh, all the instructions you should be fine. First up, we'll need to get a couple of files. So if we take a look at the laptop over here on the XDA page, we have, this is the thread by Sean said Screams over here. And he has included the list of files that we will need. So first up, we need the stock Jellybean available on the Jellybean, uh, on the ASUS website. Um, all we gotta do is download that zip file and unzip it until it becomes this um, wording exactly. Okay, once that's wording, you will be copying that to your SD card. Then we will download, of course, his Hydro Jellybean ROM. I've downloaded that as well as his update. So he has the base ROM here and the non-wipe update. So you just download those. And then we will need a com Jellybean compatible recovery, which is this one right here, Clockworks Mod Recovery Touch. And this is for Jellybean only. And right there, there's a big warning in red telling you to only flash this once you've had Jellybean. So the, the process would be flash Jellybean stock ROM. You will lose root, you will lose recovery. Then you will be flashing this recovery. Once there, you will be flashing Sean Set Scream's base ROM. Let it boot up into the ROM. Once you're in the ROM, then you will be doing the non-wipe and uh, you'll be running the latest Sean Set Scream stock-based um, Jellybean ROM. So let's get going. Moving to the tablet right here, I'm just going to turn it off. And we will be going to recovery first to flash the stock based ROM, which is a full uh, factory reset, wiping cache and Dalvik, of course. And uh, to go to recovery, if you don't remember, it's going to be volume down and power. We hold it until there's a few lines of text that pops up and then press volume up straight away to boot into the kernel image. And there we go, right now I'm just using the traditional Clockworks Mod Recovery, so let's get going. Wipe Data Factory Reset. Basically, we're gonna do a full wipe, like I mentioned, and install the zip file. And we're back. I've uh, just installed the zip. As you can see right there, I'm just going to reboot the um, tablet right now. So let's get that going. And you should be able to see um, a blue bar just under the ASUS name. Let it uh, complete. And once that's done, it's gonna boot. Maybe do a reboot after this and we'll boot into the stock Jellybean. So we'll be back. All right, folks, and we are back. I've just uh, waited for about 10 minutes for it to boot up into Jellybean. I've just uh, logged in as well. And uh, this is it. This is stock Jellybean from ASUS. As you can see, it's pretty snappy, really fast. I mean, of course, when you go to widgets, that's just how it, how the Android system works. It's gonna, it's gonna lag over there. But once it does get loaded into memory, it is snappy, of course. Um, just a quick overall, there we go, we have Google Now, all the um, widgets and stuff, they are dynamic, they move. And yeah, that's basically it. Let's go into the system settings to show you what version I'm running right here. So there you go, Android 4.1.1 and Jellybean, that's what I've set up right now. And if I take, and if I show you, um, in the app drawer, I don't have super user anymore, so no super user icon over here nothing at all so that's gone I've lost recovery as well and that's what we're gonna go do right now we're gonna go into fast boot and flash this uh, recovery file okay now let me just turn this off alright folks so uh, I've shut down the tablet and booted it up 
by pressing volume down and power. Just kept on holding until this came up. And to navigate through this uh, download mode is volume down is to navigate and volume up is to select. So you should all uh, you should have already connected your USB uh, cable. And then you go to the USB icon, press volume up, and it will load the fast boot drivers on your laptop. So taking a look at the laptop over here, we're just gonna go to devices, and you should be able to see fast boot. That's it right there. Okay and now we're going to flash uh, recovery so we're gonna go to the folder that we created just like I showed you guys in the um, previous video on how to get Clockworks Mod Recovery this is the same you will be needing Android SDK that has the um, tools that you will need um, such as Fastboot and ADB and you will need the Java uh, developer kit which will allow you to use the Android SDK so just download those, I'll include the link down below. And um, you create a folder called Recovery One. In there you will be pasting all the tools from uh, the Android platform tools. I'll be showing you the location of that, which is under 32-bit um, actually, Android SDK, platform tools, and basically we copy all of these tools. Okay, and we'll be pasting it in Recovery One. And this right here is the recovery file that we download from this thread over here. And all you gotta do is extract the zip and paste the blob file there. Now we will be going to this directory and running the fastboot command. So pretty simple, CD to change directory. We're gonna go to C drive, program, just put PRO and press tab. Press tab one more time to x86. Uh, put backslash recovery, press tab, it will find it for you. And we're gonna press DIR, just take a look, and that's the directory right there. You can see CWM touch blob. And now we're gonna run the fastboot command. So fastboot, we're gonna go space dash I, zero X, zero B, zero, that's a B capital, five flash recovery. And then space CWM, press tab one more time, it will find it, hit enter. Is gonna be sending the six megabyte file and taking a look at the tablet you can see that small blue bar over there and going back to the command line it will show that it's completed now all we got to do is shut down the tablet and boot into recovery which I'll be doing that in a second there we have it this is the recovery we just flashed using fast boot and we will be flashing Sean Z Scream's uh, Jelly Bean ROM in a second first up we're gonna do wipe data reset do that right there after that we will be wiping Dalvik so advanced wipe Dalvik cache and also I did um, read a few posts that they said to wipe the system so you go to mount and storage and go to format system we'll be formatting system as well and then we're going to go back we'll be installing the zip so choose it from SD card let's go down and you should be able to see um, the ROM which is ASU Jellybean Hydro R1 which is the base We'll be installing that. And once this is done, we will be fixing permissions and then booting into the ROM. Once we've booted up into the ROM, you just have to reboot, go back to recovery, and flash the updated um, ASUS Jellybean Hydro update, which is 1.46. We'll be back in a minute. Alright, so I flashed the ROM and now I'm just going to go to advanced and fix permissions. That's basically it, all done. And we will be rebooting this and it will boot into Sean's and Scream's Hydro Jelly Bean ROM. And there you have it guys, this is Sean's and Scream's Jelly Bean ROM, it just booted up. I'm going to go skipping through the settings, right there, just at the time at least. Um, Eastern time. I'm gonna go next here. I'll be skipping that. Not now. Yes. Take my info, Google. It's all good. And boom! This is the ROM. 
just put it up freshly and let's see here what do we have just the widgets it's been debloated of course you don't get all the asus apps just a couple of them like the file manager the app backup what else do i see here uh yeah that's just that's basically it i don't see anything else and there we go we got super su and that's the rom it's running uh system update that's weird let's go back to about tablet and there you go jelly bean and the hydro it doesn't tell you exactly which build but i will be flashing the update now and it will be on the latest um version again guys uh it's a non-wipe update which is cool you can just apply it and you'll be running the latest without needing to wipe this was imran from allaboutanders.com i hope you liked the video please do comment and subscribe it helps us out we also have a facebook page a google plus account and a twitter add us there thanks